Well, hello, boys and girls. It's when I feel like at a clock, and it's when we feel like at a clock. We have Steel Flyers and Joe Borak. If you don't know them by now, I don't know what the heck's going on. You want to go over to Steel Flyers' website there at www.steelflyers. And Joe Borak has a heck of a lot. He'll give you all his information at the end. Great writer. Yeah, his uh, list is getting long. Yeah. But we're going to do each series. We already did uh, Steel Flyers. Wasn't available, uh, unfortunately, wasn't available for it. But we did the Columbus Tampa Bay series. And now we're moving on to the Cal- did you guys did, uh, did you guys do a prediction on that one? Yeah, I think I picked Columbus. And did you pick Columbus too? Joe? Uh, I feel like I did in the end because I started looking at some of the issues in Toronto. I think right. the beginning I didn't give I didn't If you want to know for sure, go watch the video. Right yeah, now. please go check these guys out, man. Actually, wait till this video is over and then. Watch. Then go check it out, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. You all with us now? Uh, yeah. We're going to do the Calgary-Dallas series, and you're going to hit the subscribe and the bell at the moment so this all works out well for everybody. And uh, you also give us your information down there. Who do you want for this Dallas-Calgary series? Let us know in the comment section. Steele, lead us out, buddy. Well, man, I'll tell you what. First of all, thank you very much for having me on. It's always a great pleasure working with two of the pros, uh, the pearls of wisdom and meteors of knowledge. Can't can't get any better than that. Uh, please follow me uh, on Twitter at SteelFlyers52. Also, check us out on the web at www.steelflyers.com. Uh, I tell you what, we all were talking before this, and uh, Calgary they they looked really good in their in their round robin, and Dallas didn't quite look as good. And Dallas is one of those ones that I think you know. I I picked them. I picked Dallas and or Colorado to be one of my sleeper teams, and so I'm going to obviously go with Dallas on this one all the way. I remember uh, that. Man. Yeah, and because of not look, I understand their their offense is lacking, but because of their potential goaltending, look, we we know that Ben Bishop might potentially be out. You know what I mean, but. Uh, their second guy stepping in, um, I think, is going to be able to take care of things. Cal- uh, Calgary is not really a huge offensive juggernaut, so it's going to be tight games. You know what I mean? I think they're going to be like those three to two games or those two to one or one to nothing. You know, I think they're, that's how I think this series is going to play out. You know, so uh, I'm going with Dallas on this one all the way, though. That's a good point. I was going to say to back up. Uh... Hudobin, um, to back up your one point, he went off. The, he had a two-two-two and a nine-thirty in thirty games. So yeah. I mean, if you have to put him in for a game or two, you should be okay doing that. Especially because the point you made, Calgary's not the highest touted offense either. I believe they were ranked. I believe it was around twentieth this year, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, twentieth. Yeah. Goals yeah. And fifteenth in shots on goals. So. They were a little bit better, but that that's also how high of a percentage shots were some of those shots because yeah. you're not generating a lot of goals. So they were 20th in goals, and Dallas was 26. So as you said, this offense on paper doesn't set up – or this series on paper doesn't set up for a lot of offense, especially when Calgary's defense looked good last series. That was 16th in the regular season, so maybe they're now like a top-10 level defense if they're playing like that. Yeah, yeah. And Dallas is, was second when it came to limiting goals. So, like you said, this might be a, one of those series you have to like watching a defensive game in order to keep up the <laughs> Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and this one I think is going to go all the way. I think this one will go all full, all full, all the way. All seven games. They're going to need seven games because you're going to have teams that are going to be – you're going to have the games that are going to go where, hey, Calgary won, okay. Yay, Dallas won. Okay. Yay, Cal- you know what I mean? That that's just how it's just gonna be. And whoever's gonna be, it's like it's like when you're playing football and the last team with the ball is the one that wins because they're the one that scores last. Yeah. That, yeah, that's kind of how I think this series is gonna be. Whoever scores last and is the one ended up at the end is gonna be the one going through the line, shaking the other team, saying, Thanks, guys, it's been a slice. Yeah. Yeah, Philo, what do you think about that going to seven games? 
I think it's pretty possible. Um, it's about the only way that it's going to make this series exciting. <laughs> if it does. <laughs> uh, they will, if you're a fan of the teams, it's going to be close and it's going to be back and forth and stuff like that, I, I think. Um, Rick Bonus system for Dallas. Uh, I just think it's way too defensive. I, I, def- defense, they say defense wins playoffs, but um, there's got to be a point where you transition and there's some creativity in your offense. Uh, I have a feeling that Calgary will eventually dismantle that and probably end up winning in seven. Um, but I, I mean, we mentioned this before, and I didn't know if I was going to mention it on the actual thing. I don't care who wins. <laughs> I don't. I don't think either one of Dallas or Calgary are going to be able to move past the next round, anyways. Um, I would not have been picking Calgary, and I kind of am slightly in the Calgary, uh, because I just think Dallas is so uncreative. In this sense, it may not even be what I actually think. It may be what I'm hoping here. I yeah. do not want Dallas hockey to be successful. I just don't want it to be successful. <laughs> um, okay. <laughs> I, I don't think, Tell I don't us how think you really feel, Carlo. Yeah, I don't think Kudobin is a, is much of a downgrade from Bishop. I think they're both great goaltenders. In fact, I really yeah. like Kudobin. I yeah. think Kudobin is a is a fan, not only a fantastic goaltender but a fantastic teammate and uh, somebody that the team will love to play for. Um, uh, I just think that the, when it comes right down to it, especially if it goes into overtime, uh, I think Calgary has the more creative ways to score to get maybe a two on win against a tough goal teams like that. I think Calgary will likely. Well, I think Calgary, I'm taking Calgary to win mentally and heart. Mentally and heart. Slightly. Yeah, mentally, yeah I'm with you. Yeah, yeah, lot, yeah. 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 But you're not putting any that money on this one, though, right? Because you got your heart involved in that, too, right? Let's remember that I am an Edmonton Oilers fan. So I shouldn't right. be rooting for Calgary here. So that tells you how much I disdain the <laughs> Dallas type of game. Remember when New Jersey used to play their type uh. of game? Gosh. Sort of thing. Yeah. That's what we're looking at here. It's yeah, that right. type of hockey. Okay. And, and the funny thing is, is I, I don't have as much of a stain for it when it comes to Columbus because uh, they kind well, of play. Oh, well, that's that. Tortorella on that team. Yeah. Yes, but the difference is that Columbus doesn't have the lineup that Dallas does. Dallas's lineup is good. Sagan. Compared to Columbus or, or Calgary? Yeah. Yeah, compared to Columbus. Radulov, uh, uh, Heiskanen. Um, Lindell, on defense. Uh, there. yeah, Pavelski. We didn't even mention Sagan, John Klingberg, Pavelski. Uh, yeah, I mean, they've got a lineup, Guriana, yeah. they've yeah. got a lineup that should that should score. And that's why I picked them as my sleeper team. Yeah, that's that's why. If this was a lineup that didn't have scores, <laughs> <and> play- <laughs> if this yeah, was a lineup wake up. That- if this was a lineup that didn't have scores much and the coach was just doing what yeah. he can, okay, I, I got gotcha. you. Yeah, but this yeah. is a waste of talent as far as I'm concerned with what's They're happening. They're not really – they don't seem to be playing in a system that's able to take advantage of their skill sets. Yes. Yeah. And, boy, we we, we know exactly how that feels. A <laughs> yeah. coach that, that doesn't know how to play his players where, where they – well, they should be playing. Look, the one, one person we didn't mention in this whole thing was Johnny Gaudreau. And yeah. he played okay throughout the little tournament that we had here, right? Um, so we all know that he's kind of uh, trying to get out of there, right? I mean, what I think, think that's we that's think. what we think. That's okay. what the rumor, the alleged rumor. Yeah is that he might be trying to get out of Calgary. So do you think this is going to be a spark? Do you think this is going to be something that's going to, I mean, he's got a shot. He's in the dance. That's all you need is to be in the dance, right? That's your mm-hmm. shot. Where could he go that he would get another shot? You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. 
I don't, yeah, I don't, I don't know about Spark, but I'll let you go, Joe. What do you think about Goudreau in this series and how, he's, mean, how, how he's been playing? Yeah, he had uh, three points from looking at it now. Um, I brought it back up, the thing I took of it during the series, and he looked good. I mean, he's a guy that looked like he was building and getting his confidence back in the first series from a season that was just not Johnny Goudreau. It was right. a solid hockey NHL season, but it wasn't a Johnny Goudreau row hockey season so he looked like he was starting to become himself again and getting the confidence back. did he come in late too i think um i thought he played august first wasn't august first the first game yeah but i mean didn't he come into camp late oh come into camp late yeah uh no i don't think so i don't think he did i think that was um that might okay. that was somebody on the flames i think did. yeah i couldn't remember I who it was exactly. okay but um johnny no he's a guy that I think now Jeff Ward, I mean, he showed in the first round that he just coached that team very well and got them over the hump and really That's a great point. Yeah. just out coached and put everybody, how we talked about, in the right spots where Boutness, who did get thrown in in the end of the season, seemed to still kind of be figuring it out. So I think Goudreau's a guy that's going to be a guy that might take off a game in the next series because, like I said, it seemed like his confidence was getting back. You might see one of those games like you've seen Crosby's have in the past or Dubois in the first round. Like, oh, no, we ain't losing this game, boys. Not happening. Everyone <laughs> sit back and watch. <laughs> and uh, and you might see that from Johnny Goudreau, especially if Dallas, goes up, if Dallas goes up in this series early, like two games, there's no chance Johnny Goudreau's not having a great third game. Because he's good at yeah, 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 yeah. sit back and watch and get open. And, um, yeah, exactly. So yeah. 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 Okay. I'll mention a couple guys that I liked in the, in the Winnipeg series and the guy that always seems to be able to come up in the playoffs. That he's so fun to watch in the playoffs. In the regular season, it looks like he doesn't even exist. Sam Bennett. Sam Bennett played uh, extremely well for Calgary. Uh, it, uh, he just, he's a playoff performer. He, he, he gets that fire in his eyes when it comes to playoffs. He, mm. he doesn't score much in the regular season. He was a high draft pick. In fact, uh, he was drafted before Reinhardt back in when Reinhardt was drafted. Oh, wow. Yeah. So, um, he's got some skill, but he plays a playoff type game. And I think they're, he's going to be hard to handle with Dallas. Uh, I like their the way their depth played. It was hard to gauge again with the Winnipeg team that was had a poor defense and then lost Lion A and Shifley. Yeah. So it's a little easier to dominate guys when yeah when you your best players, players yeah. <laughs> but that's I a good love, point though. That's a good point though. I loved Rasmus Anderson. I do love him as a defenseman, and I think their overall defense is on par with Dallas's. It's all going to be really about Talbot. As long as he, as long as Talbot doesn't go back to his old self and start having the inconsistency and stuff like that, I think Calgary. And I, I I'm kind of rooting for Talbot. You know, maybe yeah. he's he he's had a he had a tough go in Edmonton where he had no defense in front, lost his confidence. He's trying to finish off his career strong, and I'm kind of rooting for him to do that. So, yeah, because so anyway, it's a shame he didn't get a chance to play in Philly. You know what yeah. I mean? Because I think that would have been, I think, I think him career, yeah. because of his relationship with Carter Hart. Yeah. I think that would have been a really good matchup, but it just didn't work out. You know what I mean? It just he never got to play. He barely even was an in Philly. You know what I mean? So yeah. Mm. Yeah. Well, yeah. That's the thing they brought him over for, just to see, like a just to see type thing. The jigger. It wasn't really a fit there for whatever reason, but. Uh, yeah, and I think he was like, I think actually what happened there was he saw Carter Hart and went, yeah, I'm not going to be your number one. <laughs> you know, like, well, no that's what he one. said. He was like, you know, I'm not going to resign back here. Yeah, no. Yeah, no <laughs> like, and, and who can blame them? Anyway, so you're, what, did you say who you're leaning, Joe? Um, I would have to still go with, I would say, Dallas, because we also, you also made a very good point too that um, they didn't have Winnipeg didn't have all their stars. They also have a fairly weak defense, other than their top line and uh, Surratt. Um, so that is 
a little thing that's hard to judge against them. I think Hudobin will play well as well as, well as Ben Bishop whenever the heck he's able to play. Um, so I think they'll be fine, and they played fine without Sagan. So I think that'll be okay yeah. as well. They're, I think there'll be a team that'll probably go six or seven, but I'll lean Dallas a little bit. It's not it's not a far lean, kind of like you. It's not like one of those things where I'm like, oh, Dallas is definitely winning this series. No, it's I, I'll lean towards Dallas. Yeah, I'm going to lean uh, I'm going to lean Calgary, but like I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do, this is what I'm going to do. This is like little tricks I like to do. <laughs> I'm going to lean Calgary. And then, it's called uh, CYA. I'm going to call it a heart lean. So if Dallas wins, I'll say, yeah, but it was only a heart lean. That way, yeah, I'm yeah, yeah. Lean. See? <laughs> <laughs> He's doing that CYA <laughs> stuff, man. Let's see what you got. Yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. I, okay. I tell you what. It could be interesting, but I'm definitely going to go with Dallas on this one. I think it's going to go all seven games, but I'm not leaning towards Dallas because I think – I think Bishop's going to maybe only miss one game. I think you're going to see some guys come back from Dallas, and I think it, uh, yeah. So. Okay, boys and girls, that's my full 42. I don't know about these guys. Uh, let us know where you're at at your things. Tell everybody where we can find you because they got to love you by now. Well, I don't know, man. It's uh, <laughs> trying to get there, you know. But uh, if they don't, I do, so that's all that matters. Right? Well, that, that's true, and, and – Thank you very much for having me, man. It's 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 always a blast. I love talking hockey with you guys, and uh, uh, I love when we do these shows together, man. It's always fun. It's always great. Um, you can reach me uh, on Twitter at SteelFlyers52. Also, check me out on the web at www.steelflyers.com. Um, that's a one-stop shop. You can get all the podcasts, all the videos, and everything. And the best part is, is that you can connect to these two guys right here on that website you can check out all their videos you can check out all their podcasts you can connect to them through twitter or instagram or wherever else they are man you can go to that stop one stop shop at steelflyers.com sweet joe how you how about you buddy yeah uh i write like i said in yesterday's video for hockey and baseball for ot heroics and pub sports radio and then uh flyers nitty-gritty with the great jamie Bascal. And then also for Chasing the Pennant podcast, which is a baseball podcast for the baseball. Oh, eh? Yeah, so um, <laughs> but, uh, and my Twitter my Twitter is at JJ Boric twenty six B O R E K, not you. So that's uh my Twitter. But enjoy all the great hockey that's coming tomorrow and yeah, of man. course have other series um look aheads and all that, so stay tuned for those. Yeah, we're going to be doing the next ones right away here, so they'll be up, be on the edge of your seats. I, I've got, I've got a TikTok now, boys and girls. You can go over to BPOW Picks on the TikTok. Check Uh-oh. me out. I give out some free picks on there, and of course, you got BPOW Picks, Patreon. People making lots of money. We're starting to do a thing on that now, where we all gather together and give each other our information, and we all become better cappers together. So if you're into being just a capper or if you don't even care and just want to make money, I don't know, lots of people like to do that sort of thing. You might want to go over there and check it out. Be Pal Picks on Patreon. Subscribe, bell. Lots of love to you. Going to do another series right now. Have a great day.